This is an evacuation test of the A380. To satisfy international regulations, all 853 passengers must evacuate, using only half of the plane's 16 exits. They have just 90 seconds, the estimated survival time in the event of fire. To save their lives, passengers need an escape route fast. They're trapped at the height of a three-story building with nowhere to go. As a result, the A380 has the biggest evacuation slides in the world. But regulations require the slides inflate in just six seconds, so that the first passengers to arrive at the doors don't block the exits. The only way to do it is to make a surprising connection between a life-saving slide and a device that was designed to kill. To prove it, I'm going to build and test my own model of an evacuation slide. Even so, it would take nearly eight of these to make the same volume as an A380 slide. So maybe inflating it won't be too difficult. This is a very big bag, which basically is what an evacuation slide is. And when it comes to inflating a bag as quickly as possible, well, there is an obvious way to do it. It should be as simple as blowing up party balloons. Attach the bag to a cylinder of compressed gas and inflate for exactly six seconds as per regulations. Right, are we ready? Three, two, one. It is inflating. Five, six. Ah. The trouble is, it's nowhere near fast enough. After six seconds, the bag is still much too soft to take the weight of desperately fleeing passengers. So the A380's designers unleashed their secret weapon. Rocket power. The key to inflating evacuation slides for a super jumbo jet is rocket power. I'm using 19th century rockets because the primitive design makes it easy to see the key ingredient, gunpowder. These rockets weren't very accurate in their day. But they did create lots of gas, exactly what we need to fill the bag. All I have to do is make sure the rocket can't move. And here it is, one rocket fits onto this bed at the back, down this pipe leading to the bag. Obviously, the rocket is facing this way because I want the exhaust gases going into the bag, not the actual rocket. So, fix it then. I need a light. This time, I'm using the rocket gas as a booster and combining it with the compressed gas. But will that be enough to fill the bag in the critical six seconds? Nice job on the first half of the bag. Not so good on the second. For an evacuation slide, anything less than full inflation would cost lives. Well, the rocket gave us more speed, definitely, but we still didn't fill the bag. We need to get more air in. And to do that, the Airbus designers use one of these. It's called an aspirator, but it's basically just a funnel. As the funnel gets narrower, the rocket gas moving through it speeds up, causing the pressure to drop. That should create a vacuum effect, sucking in extra air from the surroundings to inflate the slide. But will it be enough to transform a weapon into a lifesaver? It's a stunning success, easily inflating in six seconds. Two-thirds of the gas filling the bag is fresh air, sucked in by the aspirator. And that's how you rescue people with rocket power. It works as a weapon of war, but turns out it can save lives. With this device, the A380's slides inflate in four seconds, two whole seconds inside the required 853 passengers evacuating. 
Thanks to rocket-powered slides, the A380 was officially certified to fly. But the designers hope they'll never be used in a real emergency.